coverage with a focus now on long haulers. Some COVID-19 patients continue to have lingering symptoms, while others with far more severe cases recover with no symptoms at all. UT health physicians and researchers wanted to find out why this happens. And today, our health reporter Haley Hernandez got an inside look at the lab where they're working to find answers. Here at the McGovern Medical School, they're studying samples from COVID patients to better understand the impact of the virus and long hauler symptoms. Any shortness of breath? Oh yes, definitely. definitely. Roxy Pena is answering questions for her six month follow up after a severe COVID infection that landed her alone in the hospital. There's no physical touch. There's no, you're gonna be okay. There's none of that that you are longing for when you know that you're potentially dying. Even though she survived, she now lives with long COVID symptoms, constantly feeling short of breath, battling brain fog, and PTSD. Caused me to start having panic attacks that I've never had before. And then the, the feeling again of not being able to breathe is just scares me. Razi's blood samples are among those being used in a study led by Dr. Louise McCullough and sponsored by the Huffington Foundation to determine what puts a person more at risk for developing long-term symptoms. So we started collecting samples in hospitalized patients during their acute illness. What they've discovered is that while men may have more severe infections that lead to hospitalizations and death, women respond differently. They have a dramatic increase in these B cells. These B cells we think are probably producing autoantibodies, perhaps to brain, perhaps to other organs. And we're seeing in our long haul COVID patients, many more women being affected than men. So men may pay the price in the acute phase and women may be paying more of a price in the chronic phase. Finding out how long it lasts and why it's happening to patients like Razi is what will potentially give them an idea for earlier intervention down the road. That's why Razi says she jumped at the chance to participate. If it could help someone else, um, then, I, then sign me up. Dr. McCullough says they could potentially be studying patients for up to 10 years to understand the long-term impacts of this virus. Haley Hernandez, KPRC, 2 News.